It's Monday, May 14th. It is cruise embarkation day. We just got to Port Canaveral. It is literally monsooning outside. It is raining so hard, but we are thrilled to be getting on the ship in just a few minutes here. We are waiting in line and the parking attendant is directing traffic so that we can go park our car and then board the ship. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Blair and this is my husband, Riley. He is intently looking at this ship, which is right over there. And we are, we've been married for about three years. We don't have any kids. We have a dog we love and we love Disney and we love adventures and we've never been on a cruise so we are excited to go on this Disney cruise it's a five day and four night cruise to the Bahamas and we're gonna take you guys along with us so welcome to our adventure so in case you are wondering and this is your first Disney cruise you pull into if you pull into the parking terminal you park and these porters will help you with your luggage and they take it for you onto the ship here's the ship We just got to the terminal and we're going into the check-in line right now to get checked in. And then they're starting to board the ship already, so once our boarding group is called, it will be our turn. We got our key to the world cards and now we're getting to board. Our boarding number has already been called evidently, so it's it's time. We get to walk through the ears. All right, we got through all the check-in and we just scanned our Key to the World cards and now we're just waiting to board the ship. Just got our picture taken and now, I think now's the time when we're actually getting on the ship. It is, this is it. Oh my goodness, I could cry. We're in line at guest services so that we can register for the Castaway Key 5K. Apparently there's one other place to do it, but since we're already in line here, this is where we're gonna do it. Now we're just walking through the ship. We're gonna go get something to eat in a minute here, but first. Came to explore the kids' spaces because it's an open house right now and they're supposedly amazing. Oh, this is Andy's room. We found the Muppet store. We're in Cabana's, which is the buffet for lunch, and we just kind of went down the line. It's a little chaotic because every single person just boarded the ship. So I just kind of grabbed a, a variety of things, and so did Riley. All protein. <laughs> We're both really hungry. Look at the little Mickeys on the glasses. I'm finished, it was delicious. Riley's still knee deep in eating. Check out this rain, they're playing Frozen and the kids are having the best time playing in it. That looks like so much fun. And of course we had to get some ice cream since it's our first day and we're celebrating. We just finished up lunch and we ate our ice cream while well, I'm still working on mine. And we are heading to our stateroom because there was just an announcement over the intercom that our stateroom is ready, that everyone's staterooms are ready. So we are trying to find 7540 and we're getting pretty close. We're at 7548. Here we are. <laughs> I can't get over your body. Yeah, I said to her, I'm like, I'm just wearing this the entire week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so cozy in here. Here's our bed. That's right. This is where you can see the Disney Classic. Wow. Right back from Snow White. And we have a balcony. This is lovely. A great family time. Wow. I want to see the bathroom. Let's see the bathroom. I'm going to take a moment and talk to the adults. Adults, after 9 p.m., we have an 
<laughs> okay, so this is the toilet room. And then let's look at, whoa. And then let's look in this one. Oh, cool. And that's the shower room. I love it. Look at the, oh my gosh, they're like full sized. At least they're pretty large. The HTO products, H2O products, they smell amazing. I'm so excited. There's a close up mirror. Ooh. Yeah, and the closets. And we have an, I mean, this is technically an adjoining room, but we don't, we're not adjoined with anybody. Here we are on our balcony on this very rainy day. There's the Norwegian sun. Although I thought it said it was the Norwegian gem. I guess there's two ships here. Wow, this is great. We are here. We are in our stateroom. It is so lovely. Riley's outside downloading a few emails that he wants to respond to before we set sail and lose Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi packages on the ship are quite expensive, so we've just decided to just unplug while we're away, just as a nice way to relax. But because of that, Riley's trying to get the last few things done just so that he's not totally off the grid for the next five days. So we had a delicious lunch, like it was great, and that ice cream was to die for. And then we just kind of walked around the ship a little bit. We've seen a few different things and I guess the drill or whatever it's called like the safety drill is coming up in the next Little bit here. So we're just getting ready for that I think we might run up to the spa and book a day at the rain in the rainforest room Which sounds really fun and then we have dinner tonight at Royal Palace that is where our dinner is tonight so we are just having the best time. I got so teary when we got on the ship because I've been looking forward to this trip for so long, well before we booked it, because we only booked it last month, but we have been talking about going on a Disney cruise for a long, long time, and it is like a dream come true to be here on the Disney dream. We're about to head out on a ship walking tour for 30 minutes just to get a lay of the land. We just took about a 30 or a 45 minute walking tour and it was super informative. A lot of the things that were told to us I had already read online but it was helpful to have it reiterated once now that we're on board and my mind was, you know, I'm checked in now. <laughs> Also, we were able to walk through kind of some of the adult spaces and get a lay of the land there, all the different lounges, the restaurants, the kids clubs. Oh, here's Royal Palace. This is where we're going for dinner tonight. So overall, for a pretty short walking tour, I would recommend it. It's beautiful. So that's that. So we are now, we're about to have the safety drill in just a few minutes here. And um, yeah, our day so far has been amazing. Oh. We just walked into Vanellope's Sweet Shop. There she is. I absolutely love the movie Wreck-It Ralph, so the, and I love candy, so this is a great place for me. <laughs> it's really, really cute. Everything in this room is extra. It's an upcharge. Um, nothing here is included. But, I mean, look at this gelato and ice cream. So we just lined up for our safety drill. So what you do is on your key to the world card there's a letter and then you go ahead and look on the back of your stateroom door and it tells you where your letter's location is. So our letter is H and then you can see that sign up there it says H on it so all of us are H. And then you come here and wait and they come and scan your card I guess because they have to, it's a mandatory drill. So it's pretty simple. At first we were really confused about how we were supposed to know where to meet but if you look on your key to the world card Whoop, it says H on it. I just dropped it. And then here we go. Our whole crew is, all of us H people are coming to scan our cards and hear the safety demonstration. Close the neck collar and ensure that the life jacket fits securely around you. Cierre el cuello y asegúrese de que el chaleco se ajuste de manera segura. We are to the side of the lobby atrium because the sail away celebration has been moved inside due to the weather because it's still pouring outside. 
So we're just posted up on some chairs because we've been on our feet for the past few hours. And hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit of it from here. We just got ourselves cleaned up for dinner and first we're going to see Disney's Believe at 6.15 and then our dinner is at 8.30. Look how beautiful this theater is and big. We just saw this show and it was absolutely fantastic and now we just stepped outside. We're moving pretty fast. We're gonna go shop for a little bit before dinner, I think. Royal Palace for our first night's dinner. It's really beautiful in here and we requested a private table when we made our reservation and they honored our request which I'm really thankful for because otherwise you get put with random people which could go one of two ways <laughs> but obviously I would prefer to just eat with Riley. So we're really looking forward to our meal. So the very first thing that was brought to us is this brioche bread with an olive dipping sauce. Here's my French onion soup, which is very seriously one of my very favorite foods in the entire world, or my very favorite dishes. And then Riley got escargot and uh, duck confit. Duck confit. I got a salad with red onions and arugula and a pear poached in red wine and Riley got a salmon dish and a lobster pasta dish. This is the dessert menu. And this is what I'm getting. And here is my creme brulee. Riley decided not to get anything. <laughs> He's too full, but doesn't that look amazing? We just got home from an amazing dinner and we have this lovely swan plus some Gear Deli milk chocolate and our navigator for tomorrow. I think I need to clean my lens because it is struggling. <laughs> plus our navigator for tomorrow and our bed was turned down. How wonderful is that? And he even or she even drew the curtain because it is a hot stinking mess back here. We got to unpack. It is about 9.30 p.m. now. We just finished up dinner and we went to Royal Palace tonight. It was really good. Very good food. Yeah, I loved, I got the French onions. I showed you everything I got. My favorite things were the French onion soup and the creme brulee. Yeah. What about you? I liked the escargot and um, the salmon was pretty good. I don't know, I didn't really order what I, what I, what I should have. <laughs> <laughs> but that's car good. Everything I have is good. Yeah. I'm very full. Yeah. We remarked, we were talking over dinner about, because this is our first cruise that we've ever been on and definitely, obviously, our first Disney cruise. And uh, we were talking about how you just know that Disney's going to do things right. And so, like, from the second that we arrived at Port Canaveral this morning, there were helpful, friendly, kind people, cast members, 
that helped us park, helped us get our luggage, helped us figure out where to go for security, helped us check in, helped us board the boat, helped like every single part of embarkation was completely easy for two people who have no idea what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like it could not have been, they couldn't have made it any easier. Um, so that's one thing. The safety drill is just not fun. <laughs> it's a safety drill. So just be prepared for that if you um, have never been on a cruise before. Like it's, it takes kind of a long time. It's really loud. It's really hot. You're like sardines with other people. They just teach you how to put on a life vest. Basically is what the whole thing is. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a liability. Like they obviously have to, but I hadn't, no one, none of the vlogs that I'd watched had mentioned like what the safety <clears throat> drill really was. So I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I think I wish that I had known that it's just really not fun. Like it's, it's really, yeah. Right. Like it's, it was pouring down rain outside, but even if it hadn't been like, you're just standing really close to people. So just be aware of that. If you're going on a Disney cruise, like this day has been amazing, but that hour was not that great. No, it was really annoying. Yeah. It's, it was pretty rough, but like, I, I totally understand why I'm not complaining. I understand why they need to do that. You, just know that you just can't relax from the time you board. Cause, um, you have to basically be awake and alert, ready to go to that thing. So you board and then you kind of wait around for that to happen. Then you can like finally. To yeah. The, I felt like you couldn't relax till that was over. Yeah. It's kind of like after the safety drill, your vacation really begins. Yeah. Cause it's a lot of standing around and waiting. But it's been just, I mean, I've just had such a fun day, like boarding the ship when they called our name. That was so much fun. Really and finding our stateroom and our veranda and like getting all settled in and going to dinner and. Everyone's super nice. Everyone's so the kind. Show was great. The show, oh yeah. Well, I can't film in the theater, unfortunately, but we saw it was called Disney's Believe and it was just a sweet fun show mm -hmm. it was very it was so disney it just like got us in the spirit so anyway today's been such a good day i think we're gonna watch monsters university tonight um and it's very very stormy outside so i will be interested to see what tomorrow holds for us yeah the boat's rocking because we're gonna be in that yeah you can feel the boat rocking it's really soothing yeah if we're going to rock us asleep. I hope it's soothing. Yeah, we're both pretty tired. So we are going to sign off for the night. Thank you so much for watching. This day is embarkation day. So like I said, we really, you can't really start vacationing. It's half day. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's like a half day. You can't really start vacationing until after that safety drill is over, which is around 5 p.m. So tomorrow will be a full day of fun, whether we are staying on the ship because of bad weather or we're walking around Nassau or some combination of the two. I would love for you to stick around. So make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when all of the other Disney cruise vlogs come up. If you have been on any cruise, I would love to know what you think of Embarkation Day. What are your favorite things to do when you first get on the ship? Would love to hear from you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.